welcome to the series of videos on true foundry my name is shrihari and i am an engineer with the organization and uh, we at true foundry propose that you should be able to take your ml models into production in a very short amount of time and we try to make this process as efficient as possible so what is true foundry true foundry is a fully managed ml ops platform that helps machine learning teams move really fast uh, it can be installed on any cloud like aws gcp azure and then you can immediately get started with using the, using the platform why would you want to use true foundry Uh, it supports various ML training and deployment workflows through a seamless UX. The best practices they come out of the box; so you don't have to struggle setting them up. Uh, True Foundry simplifies access control, debugging, and cost monitoring. It's easy to install and get started as well. Here is a non-exhaustive list of things you can do with the platform. You can train machine learning models using True Foundry Job Runner. You can save these models in the model registry along with the model metadata and uh, metrics. You can deploy services from this model. or you can deploy services from code that is present on github or anywhere else you can monitor your model and service performance very easily using the platform finally it makes it super easy for you to provision resources for different teams manage cost and manage access permissions as well how do you get started with the platform if you're an organization that uh, is planning to use true foundry then you can install it on your cloud in less than 30 minutes but if you're an individual who's just wanting to try out the platform then you can try out a free tier at uh, app.truefoundry.com and that should be fairly sufficient for you to follow along for the rest of the uh, series of videos as well in the following videos we'll get acquainted with the various features of true foundry and uh, we'll do this by training an actual machine learning model or deep learning model in fact that can classify images the images come from the mnist dataset and these images are these are images of digits from 0 to 9 and so this web application will be able to identify the digit based on the image so once you follow along this example you will actually end up with an application like this where you can upload an image so i can upload an image of a digit i have a five here and when i hit submit you can see that this particular model that's running in the background was able to classify this as five uh so we'll train this model using true foundry and uh, we'll log the model as well and after logging the models we'll have multiple models and we'll compare between these and eventually we'll pick the best model and deploy that as a web application that you're seeing right here so let's get started 